In this movie, we're going to go over the solution to the formula problem 1. From Crystal Reports, go create a new report. You can connect ODBC or Direct Connect, it's up to you. From here, I'm going to add in the customer and the revenue transaction table. From here, I'm going to join the client number by clicking and dragging my mouse over to the CLNT num field of the customer table. From here I click next and the fields I wish to display are simple client from the customer table and revenue amount from the revenue transaction table. I'll also pull in the revenue date just because it's part of the exercise. I hit next and I'm going to group by client. Hit next and it's automatically summing the revenue amount for me, which is okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to skip over the next two steps, the chart and the sorting, and I need to filter for 2006 and above. So in this case, I'm gonna say it's greater than or equal to 01 slash 01 slash 2006, 12 AM, and click Finish. Now I have a very simple report with my client, my revenue amount, and my revenue date. I'm going to go ahead and click on the design view and I'm going to suppress the details. I'm going to drag my revenue amount summary up to my group header one as opposed to the footer and suppress the group footer. Now my report looks something like this. But the exercise is asking for the ability to show a few things. The first is I needed to show the client plus the revenue date plus the revenue amount at the detail level. As such, I'm going to need to unsuppress my detail section and then go straight into my formula fields. Right click on formula and say new. And I'll call this detail field compilation. You can really name it whatever you want, whatever makes sense to you. The exercise called for me simply to grab the customer client plus I like to put a little space dash space to make it easier to read plus the revenue date plus I like to put a little space here in between again the revenue amount now from our lessons we know we cannot add strings together if they're not all strings and when we say add we're merely concatenating them together along with our little space dash space which we've manually put in place in order to get the revenue date to function here, we have to put to text around a single parenthesis. Now, part of the instruction was not date time, but a date. Now, you may consider that a trick question and send me all sorts of hate mail. Feel free to do so. What we need to do here before we change it to text is use the date function. Notice what we've just experimented with here. We now have a function within a function within our formula. This is perfectly acceptable as long as your parentheses are in the proper place. For example, we have the date function with a parenthesis that ends here. And then we have the to text, the greater function, which goes around that. Last but not least, we need to get our revenue amount in order, which is a simple to text. I can also do this to make my life a little bit easier. I can hit the inner key and put this all on one visible screen. Again, that's going to depend on your screen resolution. But it doesn't affect the formula one single bit. It just follows one line to the next and makes sure it makes sense. If I click on my check button, I have no errors found. I'll press OK. I will save and close. And then I'll go ahead and drag this field all together here. And it's my data field compilation. It's a little big, so I'm going to shrink it. And I'm going to click Preview. Now I have all those items into one field. Works pretty good. The second method, have you figured it out yet, is actually fairly simple. I go insert text object, create my text object, you can make it as big or small as you like, and in this I'm going to put a space dash space and a space dash space again, and then I'm going to go to my database fields. Go to my customer, I'm going to grab client, and I'm going to drag it into my text box. Now once I've hit it, notice how it turns into a cursor that blinks. 
I'm going to pull that cursor to the front and all of a sudden I have client and then I'm going to go ahead and choose my date and then I'm going to choose my refund amount and I'm going to insert a section below in the detail section so we can compare and I'm going to click on preview now notice I didn't have to change anything in the second manual method and also notice that I pulled in refund amount as opposed to revenue amount that's why we see the zeros those are easy enough to fix I can come in here double click and click to the end and by hitting one backspace it gets rid of the refund amount and I'll pull in the revenue amount and then I hit preview the only difference between the two is the timestamp that shows up but you can get away with that if you put your settings correctly as a default